Welcome to the course Refractive Errors. By the end of this course you should be able to define with your own words what refractive errors are, explain the difference between the four types of refractive errors, identify the symptoms of each refractive error and list three sight enhancement methods. Let's start talking about the normal vision. To have a clear image, the light rays entering the eye need to come to focus exactly on the back of the eye. That is called normal vision. This process creates the crisp image most of us are used to, like in this picture. However, due to abnormal size of the eye, shape of the cornea, or problems with the eye lenses, the image that gets to the brain is compromised. This is called a refractive error. If the rays of light do not focus on the back of the eye and the image is formed either in front or behind the retina, a blurred image is sent to the brain. There are four types of refractive errors. Myopia, hypermetropia, astigmatism and presbyopia. Let's explore each one of them. Myopia occurs when light rays focus before instead of directly on the retina, like displayed in this model. Short-sighted people are able to see close-up objects clearly, but objects in the distance are blurry and indistinct. A person would see the same photo we saw in the beginning, like this. Hypermetropia occurs when light rays are focused behind instead of on the retina, as displayed in this model. Long-sighted people are able to see images in the distance more clearly than they can see images at close. Again, this is how the person would see the same scene. Astigmatism means that the front of the eye is not entirely spherical, like a soccer ball, but shaped more like a football and equally curved in all places. This means that the rays of light are bent unequally, therefore giving a distorted or blurred image at all distances. Astigmatism can be found either alone or in conjunction with myopia or hypermetropia. Finally, Presbyopia is the natural aging process of the lens inside the eye. This means that distance vision will be unchanged, but near vision will become blurry. People who are mildly short-sighted will be unaffected by the symptoms of presbyopia, but people who have no prescription, are long-sighted or strongly short-sighted, will suffer from the symptoms of presbyopia. There are three most commonly used side enhancement techniques used to correct this type of error. Eyeglasses, simple, economical, safe and effective. Contact lenses, with the power to correct a wider variety of refractive errors. And the LASIK eye surgery, in which a special laser is used to reshape the eye and change the place where the image is formed inside it. Let's review what we saw today. First, we learned that the normal vision occurs when the image is precisely projected at the retina, creating the crispy image most of us are used to. However, if the image is projected before the retina, we have difficulties to see far objects. This is called myopia. On the other hand, 
If the image is projected after the retina, the person has difficulties to see close objects. This error is called hypermetropia. Astigmatism is caused by an irregular surface of the cornea, causing a generic blurry vision. Finally, presbyopia, the natural aging of the eye, also produces difficulties to see close objects. The three most commonly used sign enhancement methods are the glasses, contact lenses, and the LASIK eye surgery. This is the end of the course. We thank you for your participation. Please remember to access the forum for clarifications, suggestions, discussions and more information.